Hey everybody, hope you're having an amazing day today. It's your boy Clark here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me as I check out a spot that does awesome Asian-inspired comfort food. I know a lot of you have told me that you love to see Asian fusion, so come along, it's time to get food. Now, Zomi Fusion Kitchen is one of those spots that in a lot of ways is what I get food started out being about. Local small business, run by family and friends with a passion for good food, good vibes, and great community. They got that recipe, a fun space for the community to hang out, little bits of character strewn throughout. They even have this free bookshare thing that you gotta check out. And then you've got the final ingredient, Chef Ray, who is back in the kitchen cooking up their signature Asian-inspired comfort food. Okay, you guys, as you can see, I grabbed a smorgasbord of amazing Asian fusion comfort food eats. Nozomi's Fusion Kitchen is doing it awesome. Look at this stuff. Where to begin? Why don't we start with throwing down on some of those pokos? Check out this crispy taco with all that fresh salmon poke in there. Oh, wow. Mm. That there is the ticket. You've got the black sesame, the green onion, that fresh poke, plump, tender bits of salmon. Mm. Love the dressing. Mm. You can see all the nice greens in there, the lettuce. Fresh, tasty. That taco shell is nice and crisp. Great balance of those two textures. Mm. Speaking of crisp, they get taro chips as well. French fries are awesome, but sometimes you do want a bit of a change of pace as a side to go with your comfort food eats, right? And these taro chips and their signature seasoning blend, mm. Crunch, great flavor, mmm, a lot of bang with that seasoning. All right, this is the OG, this is the chicken sandwich that started it all. You can see that huge piece of fried chicken there, marinated and smothered in their house special secret sauce. You've got the lettuce in there, give it some garden freshness. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. Oh man, it's peppery, a little spicy, a little sweet. Mm. The fried chicken's got an amazing crunch, but the meat is juicy and tender. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, pickles too. I didn't even notice that at first. Mm. That's where that sweet tang's coming from. Mm. All right, the good times aren't stopping there. What else we got to try? Ooh, look at that runny egg. So this here is their KVT, your Korean bulgogi tater tots. Mmm. Crispy and fluffy on the inside. Mmm. That Korean sauce smothered in bulgogi as well. Bulgogi with tater tots. You guys are kidding me. Oh. It gets a little messy once you mix all that egg in with the bulgogi and all that sauce, but it doesn't matter when it tastes this great. This is comfort food, y'all. Not pretentious at all. Just delicious, just satisfying. That umami, that bulgogi and that Korean sauce. 
with those tater tots. Whoo! This is definitely one of Chef Ray's dishes that you gotta try. If you guys have been following the channel, then you guys know I love smash burgers. And this is definitely a really interesting Asian fusion take on the smash burger craze. Right here is the Tokyo smash. Now, when I was in Japan a few years ago, I tried a Japanese fusion burger and it was covered in teriyaki sauce, much like this one. But when I was there, surprisingly, I wasn't completely sold on the idea of teriyaki in a burger. So when I saw this on Nozomi's menu, I knew I had to give it another try because it's definitely worth trying, right? So you can see in there, it's got tomato, it's got that house sauce. The patty is marinated in their teriyaki dressing. You've got the lettuce in there. All right, let's take a bite. Oh wow, that's really interesting. Creamy, sweet, tangy, mmm. A fusion of flavors. That sauce is a cream cheese sauce. And if that's not fusion, man, I don't know what is. Cream cheese and teriyaki. Never would have thought those two combinations would work together, but in this burger, totally slaps. Mm. And the other great thing is the value. Food costs are up all over. And the fact that this burger is under $10 and tastes the way that it does, that's some great value. Nozomi, man. Tacos are absolutely phenomenal, but if you're feeling for poke, but just not in the taco format, or are looking for just a singular, more hearty dish, they do poke bowls as well. And if you want a bowl, but not maybe crazy about seafood as much, Nozomi's got you there too. Chicken, beef, all sorts of different options in your poke over there. I just didn't happen to get one today because I wanted to try some of their more um, yeah, junk foody varieties, if you want to call it that way. Yeah, fried chicken, the burger today. That was kind of my jam, but I knew I had to get in some of the poke. And these little tacos, these little pocos, perfect way to get your poke in. Can't get enough of those taro chips. They're absolutely brilliant. All right, I think this is a good spot to wrap up the video. Want to give a huge thanks to the folks over at Nozomi Fusion Kitchen. Their hospitality was off the charts. Big thank you to you guys as well for watching this video. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, help me out, give it the thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. Okay, there's more amazing food adventures to come here in Toronto and the surrounding area. But in the meantime, you guys get out there, hit up Nozomi, or get yourself some other tasty good eats, and I'll catch you in the next video when I get food. <laughs>